Thank you so much, sir. Uh, respected Mahindra Bhai and Dr. Malik Bhai, I am really feeling proud and privileged when they are chairing the session because they have been, you know, we have been grown ups looking at them and uh, now we are practicing just like them. They are idols of us. Thank you so much. And now, uh, next to uh, my talk. Okay, fine. So, uh, the talk is on Made in India PCV14 with extended coverage against emerging serotype. Somebody just gave a comment that now you are after all Indian companies. So, it is a fortunate or unfortunate time to be talking about the companies uh, with like Indian companies with this brand. So, this what is the scope of my presentation is pneumococcal disease. What is the introduction of it? A spectrum of PCV present and future. Uh, important studies about serotype distribution in India and serotype coverage against PCV14, which is a new entrant in the market. Concerns about the emerging serotypes, serotype displacement, and invasiveness of the serotype. And data made uh, available in India for PCV14 from Biological E. And how to choose between the available PCVs and to summarize the things. So, uh, this is a new entrant, and we all are, you know, uh, having a discussion whenever any new vaccine comes into the market. So, this is for the pneumococcal disease, we know that and it is number one vaccine preventable disease uh, cause of under five mortality in India and uh, we know that there is a huge disease burden and India alone accounts for 20 percent of all under five deaths from pneumococcal disease globally and this structural pneumonia is leading cause of meningitis. Now, we know that after advent of HIV in our national schedule, uh, we have been almost now looking, not looking at much of the cases of HIV. Similarly, now if we start with you know, vaccinating for pneumococcal disease, definitely we'll be giving the uh, like impact on it. And introduction of PCV in India. Now we have already started. The government has started giving it into a government setup. Uh, it could avert almost 8 to 10, 12 million cases over last five years and saved almost 4.6 to 6.3 lakh. Uh, lives. So, that is a huge number. Now, pneumococcal serotypes, just like what I discussed yesterday, the HPV serotype, there are almost 100 serotypes. But if you see the majority of disease, that is 70 to 80 percent has been caused by few serotypes only, 10 to 15, that is what we all are targeting when we are preparing the vaccine. With, if you cover the, those stereotypes, they are, you know, what is the important goal of vaccine developers and countries which have introduced the PCV in the national immunization period, they have experienced the emergence of few additional serotypes. So, that is called serotype replacement. What happens when you start vaccinating and then you see another serotype is coming. Those who are being, keeping quiet, then they come up again. So, now if you include those serotypes which are emerging in your upcoming vaccine, then definitely it will give additional coverage in it acts as an effective counter against the invasive neurocal disease. And that is why we need to go for PCV 7 to 10 to 13, 14, 15, even we are going to PCV 20. And that is the reason because we, are, we try to cover as many serotypes as possible. So, what is the spectrum of PCVs present and future? So, the pneumococcal conjugate vaccines. So, these are the spectrum. So, we had to start with PCV 7, then PCV 10 from GSK came. PCV 10 from serum was the late entrant. Before that, PCV 13 was there and now PCV 14. So, below this red line is the in the future PCV15 from MSD is coming, PCV15 were Tergin and Arbindo. that also is coming and PCV14 to 20 already by Pfizer uh, available on international market. So, now what will be, you know, our concentration will be more on those available PCVs in the market. So, uh, we had a very good uh, response with the you know, PCV, every good experience of PCV7 and then they uh, converted to PCV13 in 2010 uh, and See, if you see these PCVs, 10 of GSK, Serum, Pfizer's 13 and Biological E, well, something is common, something is uncommon. When you see PCV 10 of GSK and compared with PCV 10 of Serum, we know that 4 and 18 C are not there and they have, you know, changed a bit and they tried to pick up those who have been very important like 6A and 19A and that was we already discussed all throughout. PCV 13 is considered a gold standard till now. Because it is having almost 13 serotypes, which are major covering almost 60 70 percent of our disease burden. Now, PCV14, what is having? It is having two additional serotypes 22F and 33F. They have just removed the 6A. 
Now that is the only difference because if you see the PCV10 of uh, serum Pfizer and uh, 13 of Pfizer and B, the conjugate protein is CRM197. Okay, so that is same. And now you compare PCV13 and PCV14. Look at that the letters written below. 2.2, 4.4. Almost it is antigenic portion is same with the both the vaccines. Almost similar. Only thing is difference is 6A is not there in PCV14 and 22F and 33F is there in PCV14. So now what are the important studies of serotypes distribution in India? Because we want to talk about the vaccine which we are going to give in our country. So we need to have a data of our own country. And then we have to see what are the vaccines available and which vaccines they cover the maximum serotype. So if you see there are some important studies of serotype distribution in India. So pan-India distribution, this speed of study. See, this speed of study was not been a pharma-sponsored company. It was a neutral sort of thing. So there was a prospective study which was almost seven states, seven sites and 51 sentinel center. They covered six weeks to five years age group and total number of samples they collected was 456. What they found that if you see the serotype, these are the common serotypes. Now out of these 12 which are common, 11 have been covered that is 80% by PCV14. Now if you see there are other vaccines, there are other serotypes, C, say 3, 18, C, 4. So these three are also found in the study but they are not been part of the PCV10 serum. Again, 3 and 19A together it represents 5.92% of IPD isolates that is not included in PCV10 of the GSK. So that is the difference what the coverage as well as what is the serotype type distribution. Now this PDOPS if you take 5 different centers and which were the top 5 vex, uh, serotypes which were there and if you see this, there are everywhere there was one serotype which was specific for that region. That means you do not have the uniform distribution of serotype all across the country. So, would, would you need to see that what are the serotypes all across country and then you choose the vaccine. So, that should be. So, here all top 5 performing uh, 5 uh, area and 5 top uh, serotypes that have been covered by PCV14 except for 91 which gives the cross protection by 9V. Now, ICIP study, this is uh, again a GSK sponsored study and here what happens, see if you say first 9 top 9 uh, isolates, serotypes, almost 70 percent, you have they are covering with us this nine serotypes. Then as per available data, this PCV14 covers all these nine serotypes. And 33 and 22F in this study, it's showing 3% of isolate. So we'll be trying to see those who are, we are adding, what is the serotype distribution and numbers. Okay. Then there is this interesting study of CMC Weller. Now here, they compared PCV7, 10, 13 and 15. Now wine well, 15 of MSD, is almost similar except for X6A is not there. Okay, otherwise 22F and 33F is also there in PCV15 of MSD and PCV14 of B. So we will just try to see without 6A if we are getting like 6A, we are getting cross protection with 6B. That means it is at par with PCV15. So considering immunogenicity, I think we can take that PCV15 will be the same as PCV14. Now 8.2% isolate belong to serotype 3, 4, and 18. Again. It is not there in serum vaccine and 22 and 33 F they are important. Now if you cover, uh, look at the different studies because there are many studies. So in general if you see PDOPS, AC, Molander study and Josna et al study. So if you consider that we have a cross protection against the 6 uh, A with the 6 B which is there in vaccine. Then you see the PCE 14 gives almost 81 percent in PDOPS, 77 percent in AC, Molander 73 and Josna et al. This is a meta-analysis. The meta-analysis means it is not only one study. <clears throat> it takes into consideration of so many study and then they give you the conclusion. So there also 79% coverage with this PCV14. Now, we have to see the nasopharyngeal carriage. Why? Because see, if you have in the nasopharynx, then only it will cause the disease. So we have to see what are there in the nasopharynx also. So if you see this isolates between 2009 to 2017, prior to introduction of PCV13 in India, Almost 186 isolates were there and this majority of serotypes, they are a common IPD. So, 3, 4, 18C and 22F are important which are not covered by other vaccines in India and currently only BC, B, B vaccine, PC14 covers this 22F serotype. Okay. Now, concerns about emerging serotypes, serotype replacement and invasiveness of serotypes. Those vaccine serotypes which have been emerging, they are coming as a re uh, replacement serotype and what is the invasiveness? How important for us to cover them? 
So let us see emerging serotype. See again the meta analysis of 68 studies across 27 countries reporting the serotype data of IPD. See invasive neocal disease. That's what we are going to discuss. We know that that it can be a the disease can be otitis, sinusitis. All that can be a non-invasive. But when it enters in the blood and it goes to different organs, it causes invasive neocal disease. And that's what we are concerned. When you take 38 study from 14 countries using PCV7 and 20 studies from 24 countries, they are using PCV10 or 13. Now we will see what happens to those countries when they have already introduced 10 and 13 or 10 or 13. So in the countries which introduced PCV7, they found that serotype 19A was predominant cause of childhood IPD accounting for 21%. So now PCV7 mind well was having 19F and they said that it will give cross protection and 19A but it didn't happen. Similarly, if you see the countries where using PCV10, 19A is pre predominant serotype followed by 3A, 22F and 33F. So again, PCV10 of, uh, 10 of this GSK, again it is not giving a cross protection. And in countries giving PCV13, they found 22F was a predominant non-PCV13 serotype causing IPD. So overall 5% of childhood IPD followed by 33F, that is 4%. So this 22F and 33F, after introduction of PCV13 in the national immunization schedule is emerging serotypes. Now mind well, we if we were discussing it 2 years, 4 years down the line, we were happy with what we were having. But now PCV is in our national schedule. So now we can have this same figure coming in the coming days. So that's why it is important. 22F and 33F, they have been associated with the increased propensity of antibiotic resistance. They are common cause of meningitis. They are having severe disease. They are having high invasive capability. So it, they are important. Now, invasive capability, how they do they calculate? They just see that the incidence of IPD caused by serotype, okay, then multiplied with carriage prevalence in the throat and then you get the invasive capacity. Now, look at it, the PCV14, this is, look at it here, this invasive pot uh, potential is 350, 321. So, these serotypes are having a huge invasive, proper, uh, invasive properties and that's why we have to cover them up. Now, what are the scientific data about the new vaccines? We know that whenever new vaccine comes, it has to establish a phase 2, phase 3 trial and they have to establish there is a like safety, emergency and a non-inferiority to existing brand. And that's the same thing. Here, PCV14 was compared with PCV13, which was there in our country. So, there was a word to word comparison with, for the non-inferiority. Now, what PCV14 is having? As we discussed, these are the 14 uh, serotypes. Shelf life is 24 months. And it is having a combi pack where you have to withdraw the uh, needle with the one needle, give it with another needle. So it is available very much in our market. And recommendation is 6, 10 and 14 weeks, 3 doses. Now, what are the clinical trials? See, there were almost 6 studies out of there. You know, uh, 2 are ongoing, 4,700 subjects, 60 sites, 13 states, 25 cities. So it's a, it's a covering the whole country. Safety and immunity trials, phase 2 is between... 12 months to 23 months. I am highlighting this fact. 1 to 2 years it has been tested for safety and immunity in phase 2. There they compared with pre Prevena 13. They gave 2 doses of Prevena 13. They gave 2 doses of Prevena 14 and equal 60. And they checked what is happening there to immunogenicity and what was the cutoff? 0.35 and above is a cutoff. And then what happens? If they are above that, they are zero converted. And if you see this, all these serotypes, they have been getting a non-inferiority because they are having a very good zero conversion. So it has been proved non-inferior as well as the safe. Now phase 3 clinical trial again immunity was tested and here the phase 3 trial they did for the younger children because in India the recommendation is a 3 month monthly schedule for primary series 6, 10 and 14. So same uh, schedule was taken and they gave 3 primary doses along with the similar numbers with the uh, PCV13. These demonstrated, demonstrated in terms of proportion of subjects zero converted for the 12 serotypes because we know that PCV12, uh, 13 and 14, 12 serotypes are common, right? Two serotypes are more with the uh, 14 and one is less with the 13. Okay, so what they found, there was almost all 12, they were non-inferior. Now, what about those two we are, which are not there in PCV13? Then, so, suppose your new vaccine is not having the particular serotype, you have to provide, like show the non-inferior to the poorest performing serotype. So, if you see in pre 13, you see that 3 is the poorest 
performer okay so 77 percent so you need to have above that okay and here 33 f we know that we have been studied that OPA titers are more important because of functional titer they are also proving a non-inferiority so that's why it is non-inferior even in 22 f and 33 f okay now gmc ratio again it was proved that the non-inferiority was more met because here the cutoff is 0.5 and if you see all this cutoff is gmc ratio is more than 0.5 so it is proved non-inferiority again OPA titer which is a functional titer there also they proved to be non-inferior now the question remains is 6a 6a is not part of this vaccine but they say that 6b which is giving a cross protection okay now 6a structure if you see it is almost similar to 6b okay very minor difference now if you have 6b in the vaccine then it should cross protect with against a 6a we had pcv7 which was having 6b it showed that there was a very good cross protection against 6a right and this post marketing ipd effective study of ipd they found that after introduction of this particular vaccine of 6 containing 6b the incidence went down of 6a when i said 19f didn't give cross protection in 19a but 6b gave the cross protection against 6a so this is what is been shown here that the the vaccines were given like below 2 years and more than 2 years see if you see here 6a what is vaccine effectiveness 76% 19a look at it 26 percent so 6b gives a cross protection against 6a very significantly now let what is the data see pcv7 was given to less than five years and they saw what happens to those who have been non-vaccinated more than five years also so if you see israel ukse and uk after introduction of pcv7 this 6a incidence goes down 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 and not only in the vaccinated in a non-vaccinated also 6a goes down that means you see 6b is giving cross protection 6a what about otitis media again the same it indicates it containing 6b provides protection against 6a serotype look at it the carrier nasopharyngeal carriage 6a after introduction of this 6b containing vaccine it goes down 19a goes up so there is the enough evidence is that 6b gives a cross protection against 6a in comparison of safety both are almost nothing to choose between both the vaccines and if you see adverse effect this also are comparable and there is no severe uh, admin, uh, adverse effect now pcv14 was administered with pentavalent vaccine so that's what we are giving so co-administration is also been proved to be safe and it is recommended then second phase three trial what happens whenever the vaccine is been brought to the country and india when it goes to national schedule you need to have a multi-dose vial and if you have multi-dose vial, you have to again prove because it is containing preservative whether this is also the same effective. So this is a trial which has been done, six to eight week old children given three dosages and they check that uh, this again, the zero conversion, then they check the GMC titers and safety. They were all non-inferior. So non-inferiority has proved even the multi-dose vial. So national immunization should also they can safely use. Now, what are the ongoing trials? You must be thinking that now question is, we are giving three plus one. Okay. Now, why the company is not uh, doing the study in 3 plus 1? See, government for DCGIC, for DCGI, for licensing purpose, they just want to compare with what is the schedule which is govern, government schedule. So, they will again go for the, the ongoing uh, this trial is 2 plus 1, 6 weeks, 14 weeks and 9 months booster. And that 2 plus 1 alternate dosing schedule study is ongoing. Phase 4 trial, it has already been started and we, many of us who are, who are using this particular brand, they have en uh, like enrolled us and they are now doing phase 4 trial also. So, that also will come. So, again it is 6, 10, 14. So, to summarize the clinical trial data, the studies between 1 to 2 years, phase 2 study, NewBVX14, that is the name of this PCV14, shown more than 90% zero conversion rates against all 14 serotypes. Zero conversion was comparable with Prevenar 13 for 12 kilo serotypes. Infant following 3 dose primary series, they have demonstrated non inferiority to Prevenar 13. For all 12 with respect to zero conversion as well as GMS, GMC, OPA titer, which is functionally important, OPA and zero conversion were similar to Prevena 13. Zero conversion rate against serotype A has been demonstrated in two phase three clinical trials, and serotype 6B has demonstrated a cross protection. And PCV14, which is well tolerated, no serious adverse effect. So now the burning question: how to choose between amongst the available PCVs? Now there was a question I asked yesterday. See, we have to see two things in a practice, commercial angle to it. 
because cost matters for us. Okay. At the same time, we would not like to compromise on the quality. So, we have the vaccines PCV10 of serum, we have uh, PCV13 uh, of that, I think, uh, Prevenar 13 and uh, PCV14, UBVAX. Now, if you see, if you are getting the almost similar result with the pre PCV14, the cost factor will come. And there, I think, we can choose which is available, best, and cost effective. And there, I think, Indian companies, they score over this. So, that was about the choosing the best uh, PCV. So, importance of B PCV14 is serotype 19A, which is emerged as a major serotype causing IPD following introduction of PCV7 and 10, which I showed in the, the studies, uh, including that's 19A, because 19F is not giving cross protection. PCV14 has demonstrated immunization against all major serotypes, including 6A. So, we are covering major. We are adding two more, 22F and 33F, which has emerged as common non-PCV10, non-PCV13 serotypes in the countries, those we are using, PCV7, 13 and 10. These serotype 22F and 33F are associated with propensity to cause antibiotic resistance and severe disease, so that is, they are important. Indian setting serotype 22F and 33F are currently account for almost 2 to 4 percent of IPD cases in many studies. So, they, there can be variation in the study when the numbers. Because we know these data are very small, 400, 500 uh, isolates and then they are giving data. So, you have to look at that also, that the numbers, how significant they are, but still they are there. Then since India has introduced the National Immunization Schedule of PCV recently, emergence, emerging serotypes will be important for us also. What we were talking about the international brand uh, or uh, the out of the country, we have to consider that fact also. Recently approved, approved this PCV14, uh, high valency PCVs in USA and European countries they include 22F and 33F. So, in India, currently BCV, PCV14 from B is the only brand which is having 22F and 33F. So, now we all look at the ACVIP recommendation. The data has been presented to IP ACVI committee and they may come up with some recommendation after they study that data. And dozer has been submitted to WHO for pre-qualification also. So, under process of pre-qualification. So, this is update of the new vaccine which is coming, it is already there in the market, PCV14. Thank you so much. I will be happy to answer the if at all.